¡Ay! doing today i hope you all are doing amazing i hope you all are sound and healthy guys i just want to say i'm sorry if you cannot hear me clearly this is because i am sick malaria has been disturbing me for a couple of days now and because of that i can't really speak louder than i am already so this whole malaria thing started on Thursday. Today is Monday actually. I was supposed to be traveling back to the UAE today. But because of this malaria thing, I can't travel anymore. So I've already extended my flight. Right now I just have to stay back and treat myself. When these things started that Thursday morning when I wake up from the bed, I took it lightly. I never really thought it would be this serious. I was feeling pain all over my body, on my bones, inside of me actually. Like if you look at me, you will know I'm sick or anything. I was just feeling some pain inside of me. My bones, I felt like my bones were all broken. You know, I felt like someone hit me. I felt like someone was using matches. You know, that's the way I feel. I mean, if you've ever had malaria before, then you know what I'm talking about. You know that malaria is not a small sick. It's not something to play with, you know. So when it started, I just took Panador. That day, I had a date with an old friend. So I went to my date. So when I came back around 5 p.m., I realized that it has gotten worse. So I slept a little bit, I slept for a couple of minutes for like 30 to 45 minutes and when I wake up, oh my lord, I realized that I couldn't even stand straight. My body was shaking, I felt like I was going to fall down. So I hurriedly went to a chemist shop nearby our house, I bought Quatem. It's actually a malaria medicine but I don't know if it was a good one or not. So. They gave it to me for 2000 I came, I drank, I drank one of them because they told me to take one in the morning, one in the evening. So it was already evening, I took one that night with Panadol. Then I wake up in the morning, I felt a little bit better, a little bit. My mouth was still kind of bitter, my whole body was still weak, but yeah, it wasn't the same like the last night. So I woke up that morning. <clears throat> I went to the bank, I had to go finish up my stuff, the stuff which I had to do with the bank. Then my hairdresser called me here, I did my hair, y'all. I did my hair. And you, do you like it? I love my hair, I hope you like it too. Anyway, so my hairdresser called me from the bank, I went, I did my hair that night. I finished around 9 p.m. While I was there, I called my sister, please come with my medicine. So she came to the salon, gave me my medicine. I took it there in the salon and then I ate something. So I came back home, I slept. I wake up the next day, which was Friday. Friday or Saturday? Yeah, which was Saturday, sorry. I wake up the next day, Saturday. Then we were supposed to go to Douala. If I'm looking towards the side, I'm looking at outside because I'm just seated facing the window right now, okay? So people are passing by. <laughs> like, you know, we don't live too far from the road. Sorry about that. That's by the way. So my sister and I were supposed to go to Douala that Saturday morning. So I was still not feeling better, but it's something which I had to go with my sister. We needed to check on some container with my brother saying. <coughs> So I went with my sister, we arrived Douala and I couldn't even spend up to an hour in Douala. I hope you guys can hear me, oh my lord. I don't know why I feel like you can hear me, I don't know, but I hope you can hear me. Anyway, so <clears throat> we arrived Douala, I couldn't even stay for up to one hour. Like my sister told me, Irene, your eyes are not looking good at all. Like my eyes were changing. I'm like, oh my lord. Even 
in my body i was telling her like i'm not feeling fine my mouth was bitter my bones were broken that's the way i felt like all my bones are broken my body is weak and all that stuff i told her you know what you're just going to stay here we were actually three of us me my elder sister and my niece my little niece so i told her you know what you guys are going to stay here I have to rush to Tico and go to the hospital because the way I'm sounding is not a good feeling at all. So we say, yeah, that's right. So I took the next available bus, came back to Tico, went to a hospital, a private hospital. I went there and I did some tests, malaria tests, typhoid, aslo. So malaria was positive. <clears throat> so he put me, he gave me some medicine. This is the plastic anyways. This is how they gave me the medicine that day. So I've not taken out from this plastic. I just remove it like this. Like if I want to drink, I remove it like this. And I use my water. So this is the medicine they gave me. I have injections also. So these are the medications. I even have some which I have to chew. Like the medicines are just too much i don't like when i'm seriously ill like now i hate to put water in my mouth not to talk of bitter meds medicine like this one tablet i just hate it i am scared of injections but i prefer injections than tablet like these things are full this one is full like who's going to finish all this oh my god but i want to get worse so i have to finish all these so right now I'm about to go to the hospital to take my remaining injections. So yeah, just let me give you guys an update. So guys, stay tuned, keep watching, and I will see you all at Dr. Oben's hospital. I'm not too far from Dr. Oben's hospital. That's the hospital right there, but I saw orange and I want to buy orange. And oh my lord, show me the one you say is for 50. And then where's the one for 75? This one. So she says this one is 50. This one is 50 and this one is 75. Like what is the difference between these two? Anyways, <laughs> I understand. So you probably make a lot of money here, right? Hmm? Anyways, give me that. Give me this two. The one for 75. Give me two. I'll take it. I have 500. I hope you have change. 500, two for 75 is 150. guys i my mouth yeah you cut the head thank you my mouth is so bitter i hate the taste of my saliva right now like i just have to get orange if not i'll be spitting out a lot how much you sell um this no pineapple 100 huh. you people must be billionaire look at that short tiny pineapple Guys, I'm gonna show you. I show you everything. It's better I just buy one full pineapple. Just sell one full. It's finished. Ah, okay. My change. Thank you so much. So, guys, I got my orange. Guys. My former secondary school in Pastico used to be in that side. You see that area? And this is the proprietor's house. That's the owner of the school, Mr. Mbutakang Steven. If you're watching this video and you, you're from that school, comment down below, let me know. I think I might want to pass some day and say hi to him before i travel back to dubai because he knows me very well anyways i just arrived at dr oben's hospital that's it there so let's go in okay doctor like the doctor has misplaced some things so he has been searching for that thing since i came in 
I guess it's a key because I overheard them saying that. So yeah, he just asked me to wait. So I'm just in his office waiting. Actually, I was supposed to have six injection that day when I came here, and um, I thought maybe it would have been over, or rather, I would have been better before today. So I told him I'll be traveling today. So he reduced the injection and made it four. So they injected me yesterday and after yesterday. So I'm coming for, okay, I have two different type of injection. I have the vitamin, which they gave me on my booters, my ass. <laughs> then I have one which they give me here. So the doctor is the only one that gives the injection here. <clears throat> so I've come now for him to give me this injection here. I don't know how to call it, but anyways, I'll try to ask him. And um, I'll try to take a video while he's giving me the injection here. I'll ask him if he says it's okay, then I'll show you guys. So this one here is actually two. I've taken one before that day when I came. So today I've come to take the last one. Why the one on my arm uh, on my buttocks? It's supposed to be it was supposed to be six. But because I thought I was going to travel today, so they reduce it and make it four. But now I just told him doctor I'm not traveling anymore. So you give me my complete dose and he said it's okay. They change it up. Because the one lock, the former lock or the lock that was there that we changed had a problem. I'm sure these are the keys of the <laughs> <laughs> It's putting some things in my mouth. shot video why he's giving me the injection and he said it's okay why not no issues so i'm certainly going to capture that moment because that shit is so painful guys it is so painful the hour has come the hour has come let your name be glorified the hour has come it is the hour guys, it is the time, stay tuned and keep watching, then you see the magic. <laughs> Can I please have cotton? Please come out. So guys, I'm done with the doctor at that side. So right now I'm here to have the other injection on my eyes. So I'm just gonna stay here and get my injection. Yeah, I'm talking to my people. It's okay. You want to show your face. So this is the second doctor who is going to give me the injection on my eyes, guys. I can't wait. It's so painful. Anyways, let me keep you guys here. And we'll do it there. Hmm. It's okay, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Ah, how do I want to do this thing? 
wow. It seems like they repeat the error. Oh, not true, yeah. They repeat the error. For sure. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Alright, so thank you. So guys, I'm done in the hospital. I have to take my leave. So thank this young man. <laughs> Okay. So guys, I'm done from the hospital. <clears throat> that was the last injection I had. So I'm going. Anyway, so I'm walking back home. It was raining. The places are wet. So after that two orange which I took, my mouth is still bitter. Like this malaria of a thing is something else. I just hope it gets better before I travel. So guys, I'm back home and um, right now I'm just going to sleep and take a rest. Try to eat something and hopefully things will get better before tomorrow morning like I can't wait to be okay to be fine to be sound and healthy again because this malaria of a thing is giving me hell honestly my whole mouth is bitter I don't I mean like I don't have appetite to eat anything if I see food I feel like vomiting especially egg like if i see egg oh my lord i don't just want to eat egg right now the only things that goes well into my mouth is fruit maybe orange pineapple watermelon those are my favorite food so but anyways for now i'm just going to sleep and allow the medicine or the injection to work well in my body and no i i have some tablets i have to take yeah i have to take my tablet it's past two I have to take my tablet now before I sleep. That which means I have to eat something. I must eat something. Yeah, I must eat something. I'll try, look for something to eat. <clears throat> take my tablet and I sleep. Then I'll wake up around 10 p.m. again. I'll eat and take my tablet like. All right, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all in my next video. Please pray for me. Let me get well soon, guys. Bye.